a baby's first steps, first words. Monumental events in the life of a newborn, but for many infants, these steps come slowly because they're born with a specific brain disorder. Once again, here's Rod Starnes with a look at how physical and occupational therapy are giving these children greater control and greater purpose in life. Ten-year-old Kennedy Griggs is a typical preteen girl. She enjoys playing video games, her favorite color is pink, and she loves Hannah Montana. But a closer look will tell you there's more than meets the eye when it comes to Kennedy. Kennedy, she has cerebral palsy. Um, she was born with it. I was told that she had cerebral palsy at the age of nine months. Cerebral palsy, or CP, is a disorder caused by brain damage that affects the muscles and motor skills. It can also lead to hearing and speech problems, visual impairment, and learning disabilities. There are several types of CP, with symptoms ranging from muscle stiffness to involuntary movement to difficulty with balance and depth perception. While exact causes of CP aren't yet known, the disorder is often linked to difficult pregnancy. Premature babies are at a particularly high risk. Kennedy was born three months early, and major difficulties during those first couple of years gave her mother, Esther, little reason for hope. She could not crawl, sitting up in the bathtub, um, playing her games, using her pencils, um, anything that a typical infant would be doing, pulling up on tables, Kennedy wasn't able to do any of those things. So my next action was to find a therapist that would take care of her. Hey Kennedy, how are you honey? Did you have a good day at school? Mm -hmm. You did? All right, are we, uh, Ready to work hard today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here at the Pediatric Rehab Unit at Baptist Rehabilitation Germantown, Kennedy gets the workout she needs. Although there is no cure for CP, children like Kennedy can benefit greatly from regular therapy. She perceives movement going backwards as fear that she's falling. Um, she has what's called gravitational insecurity. She doesn't like her feet off the ground. She doesn't feel grounded unless she, her feet are on the ground. So we just started off with very easy, gentle movement, just standing and swaying and getting her used to that. How do you feel moving like that side to side? Good. She's got a crouched gait, so we're working on strengthening the muscles of her legs so that she can stand up taller. Inner ear and balance difficulties are also worked out with some swing time. Other way. Stop. Good? Yep. Okay. I cannot believe this, Kennedy. And it may look like fun and games, but this spirited round of Connect Four is helping Kennedy connect movement to what she sees around her. Long arm, long arm. It's a challenge. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I, I love how you held it with two fingers. That was cool. It's a little bit of a cognitive challenge, and it's fun, but it's working on those visual perceptual skills. In addition, working on fine motor skills or stretching her arm, we try to do what you call an activity analysis, do, or trying to do three things at the same time. All of this hard work is paying off, not only in therapy. Kennedy, that was great! The first time you went down without stopping. But at home as well. One thing Kennedy was having problems with was lying on her back. But once she started seeing Miss Diane, she can now swing without any problems. Um, she can lie on her back. She can go up curves, um, up steps, going into the house. She couldn't do that with, without therapy. Good job, baby. Brushing her teeth, writing, getting her books out of her backpack to read. Her reading is, is exceptional. My name is Nancy Drew. My friends tell me I'm always looking for trouble. But that's not true. I was told when she was born that she would never be able to read, she wouldn't be able to write, she would never function as a normal child. She would always be behind. However, we've overcome all those odds. She's an honor roll student. She's in the regular ed classrooms. She made the cheerleading squad, and she's been on the squad for two years. This wall full of accomplishments is a testament to just how far Kennedy has come and how far her will to succeed can take her in the years ahead. My baby, um, she couldn't walk by herself. She's taking steps by herself. Small steps, but great strides toward more independence. All right, 
right, Kennedy. Whatever goal she sets for herself, she's going to she's going to gain it. She's going to accomplish whatever she sets for herself. She's doing it every day. She has said she wanted to be a doctor. She's going to reach that goal. A possible future in health care? It's easy to see where Kennedy got her inspiration. Caring therapists like Diane and Jody are working hard every day to help patients with cerebral palsy get on track for a promising future. Did it. Good job. Good job. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starr.